What's up y'all, it's Timmy. We're out here in Turnigan Pass right now. And it's long been thought that you need a big engine snowmobile to get up in the mountains and go have a good time and actually get around in the deep powder in the backcountry and stuff. But today I'm gonna show you that you don't necessarily need a crazy large engine in your snowmobile. We're taking this Polaris 600 RMK out today. Off to a good start. We're out here in the beautiful Turnigan Pass in Alaska, which is probably one of the most notorious riding areas in the state as far as just being able to drive right up to a pass and go up some crazy mountains on your snowmobile. So we're out here today because there's this whole stigma behind mountain riding that you always have to have the biggest, baddest, best machine out there to get up these mountains and have fun. And you need an 800cc engine, you need an 850, you need a 900, you need a turbo, you need all this power. And I'm out here today because I wanna show you guys that you don't necessarily need a big engine snowmobile to get up these mountains and go where you want to go and have a good time. Right here we have a 2019 Polaris RMK and this is the 600 model. So this is the smallest engine they make in the RMK series basically. And uh, it's an absolute beast. This machine will basically go anywhere you want to go. So. I'd say for 95% of riding for most people, this is all the machine you need to get you where you wanna go in the backcountry. And yeah, I just wanna prove that to you today that you can go to some pretty awesome places in these and they're super fun to ride. And this is the access chassis and it's pretty easy to counter steer and move around. It's got a 155 track. This is basically the last year that uh, snowmobiles had long tunneled. All the tunnels in new snowmobiles are starting to chop. That way you don't get as stuck as easy and that track can just keep digging and your tunnel doesn't catch. So this has a traditional long tunnel where the tunnel is just as long as the track. The front end on this 2019 RMK is awesome. It's got a 36 inch stance. It's the React front suspension. And uh, yeah, it just makes it nice and easy to counter steer. One of the biggest benefits of a 600 is just the lightweight. It's a super light sled, definitely lighter than the 800s and 850s. And it just makes it really nimble, really easy to maneuver. And uh, you can just get it on edge super easy. So it's great for kids or lighter riders or uh, people that just don't want a ton of horsepower. The sled will totally get it done. So what's the reason behind getting a 600 snowmobile over an 800cc or an 850cc or larger engine? Number one is reliability. 600cc snowmobiles, I don't know why, but they just freaking last longer. You have less problems with them. They don't overheat as much. A 600cc snowmobile is just going to straight up last you longer than an 800, an 850, any larger engine snowmobile. That's just the way it is. So what are some reasons to get a 600 versus a larger engine? I'd say probably the number one reason is reliability. A 600 is just going to have less problems. It's going to last you longer and it's just going to be a better ownership experience over the life of the sled. You're just gonna have less issues and be able to ride and enjoy it more because of that. Another really big advantage to a 600cc snowmobile is the oil use and gas use. It just consumes less oil and gas. So you're not gonna be spending a whole bunch of money in oil and gas like you will with a larger engine snowmobile. Um, it'll just get you further. And if you're into going deep into the backcountry, it's a great machine because you'll be able to go deeper into the backcountry. You'll be able to go further because you have better fuel economy. We're gonna go get this thing out for a rip and show you exactly what it's capable of. So we're gonna go surf around in the powder a little bit and then we're gonna go climb the mountain and then go hit some trees in the backside and just show you what you can do in a 600. So let's go.
So here we are, we're up on top of Turnigan Pass. You can see the town of Girdwood down there in the valley. Highway kind of wraps around and comes up Turnigan Pass over here. It is a beautiful day out. There's hardly anyone out riding today. Couldn't ask for better conditions, just gorgeous out. Anyway, hopefully you guys have a pretty good feel for how you can actually hill climb in a 600. Unless the snow is just crazy, crazy deep, this thing is probably gonna be sufficient enough to get you up any climb you'd really wanna get up unless you're just getting absolutely crazy with it. But uh, you can still get crazy with this and still have an awesome time. So now we're gonna head down into the trees and just show you guys how maneuverable this thing is and uh, how nimble it is. Let's go check it out. Well guys, as you can see, you can still completely shred on a 600. I'm able to uh, get out and pretty much go anywhere I want to go. And even in deep powder like this, it's not super deep, but still pretty good snow today. And this thing will freaking go anywhere. The one time you'll find an issue with a 600 is if it's just a super deep day. If you got like three foot deep powder and you're trying to go up something really steep, then yeah, obviously you're going to struggle just like any sled would struggle. And uh, that's where the big bore engine would come in handy, climbing really steep stuff in a deep day. But for the most part, 95% of the time, the 600 is going to get you where you need to go. This isn't my first 600. I've actually owned several of them over the years. They've all been ski -doos. And this is my first Polaris 600. It's been super nimble, super awesome. And uh, I'm actually getting ready to sell this thing. I really don't want to, but I'm gonna be building a cabin this summer. So unfortunately, I'm gonna sell some stuff to afford it. So she's gonna have to go, because I'm still gonna keep my links, but. Really do love this machine and it really is pretty much all you need for the Alaskan backcountry or just to get out and have fun. Totally gets the job done. Riding down this thing, I was just freaking terrified. I'm sure, it looks like nothing on camera. It was pretty freaking steep. We're going down about 1,500 feet, and I don't know, maybe half a mile, maybe less. This is about as good as the up track gets, so it's like these critical moves you're gonna make. Like if you miss these little hooks, you go flying off a really steep side down into the trees. This mountain's kind of like a rite of passage too, like if you're an Alaskan snow machiner, so just on the list. Well guys, there you have it. We're back in the parking lot. So that's what a 600 can do just to give you an idea. And uh, you know, if that's all you can afford, 
don't cut yourself short. Get out there and get yourself one and have yourself time. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button down there and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>